Erie County Public Library, along with the Buffalo History Museum, are working to preserve mementos and stories of the attack. But they are also looking for your help in honoring the lives and stories of those who lost their lives and were hurt that day. Daybreak's Lauren Hall joins us live to talk more about what the plans could include. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Melissa. Tonight is the second night that you'll be able to weigh in on the future of those makeshift memorials outside of the tops on Jefferson with the winter on the way. The History Museum and the library want to hear from people about if and how those items should be preserved. Here we're talking about the handmade signs, the flowers, the photos of the victims and the candles that people have left outside of tops to honor the lives taken that day almost five months ago. Last night, the Buffalo History Museum and the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library held the first of two scheduled meetings to discuss the best way to go about this preservation process. They met with the community at the Frank E. Merriweather Library on Jefferson Avenue. One woman we spoke with who is a former Buffalo school teacher said, although it's hard to relive the tragedy, it's also important to document history for future generations. People have a tendency to forget what happened and they go on in their present day lives, but history has a tendency to repeat itself. We don't want that to be repeated. And the Buffalo History Museum says there's no planned exhibit for these items at this time. Right now, the goal is just the collection and the safekeeping of evidence for years to come. If you missed last night's in-person meeting, there's another one taking place over Zoom tonight at 6. We have the link to join that meeting with this story on our website, WGRZ.com. And while you're there, you'll also find a link to the survey that you can fill out right now and let them know your thoughts about this preservation process as it's set to begin. I'm Lauren Hall reporting live in Buffalo. Pina Melissa, back to you.